I'm Joe Pazorczyk, former director of the Office of Surface Mining Reclamation Enforcement. I'm with Hank Zelensky at the Sawyersville Refuse Pile. Hank, could you tell us what's going on at this site? Hi, Joe. Thank you. Well, this project has been initiated by AML pilot funds and also treasury funds. Uh, very important. Uh, without those funds, this project would have never been initiated. It's a remediation project, and what we're remediating is uh, things like this behind me, these features. This is abandoned waste coal. It's been sitting on the surface for probably close to uh, in excess of 100 years. Um, mining's been uh, happening on this site, well, uh, going back to the turn of the century. So uh, the site's been desecrated. It's been left in this condition. And right now, uh, what you see here behind me is just like a coffee filter. You have water, the rain coming through it, perking down through the ground, and taking all that good stuff that's in the coal with it, uh, metals and other things. So that ends up in our groundwater. So if these sites aren't remediated, uh, we have a pollution hazard. There's also other things going on on the site from an environmental standpoint. Um, not only water pollution, but air pollution. There's dusts that come off these sites, and we live or we're working here in a highly densely populated area of the Wyoming Valley. So if we panned around, we'll see the town of Swoyersville. If we pan to the right, you'll see 40 Fort. If you go behind us, the city of Wilkes-Barre. Um, everything's in the background here. So not only do we have this environmental nightmare in the middle of town, we also have um, property that's tied up, it's wasted. There's hundreds of acres on this specific site. Uh, a few of those acres across the street over there, about 20 acres, has been already reclaimed through the AML funding about a decade ago. So that site would have never been uh, reclaimed if those funds weren't available. This site, again, would, wouldn't have been initiated without that funding and without the treasury funds. There's also another site across the street, which isn't even being contemplated right now. Um, and it's another 20 to 30 acres. And it may be 10, 20 years before Office of Surface Mining, uh, Pennsylvania Bureau of Abandoned Mine Reclamation gets to those projects. So they may be sitting there for quite some time yet. But when that time comes, it does need the money. It will need the funding to do that project. This funding is scheduled to end. Congressional action could extend the AML funding through 2036. If funding is renewed, jobs will be saved, communities will be lifted out of poverty, and all economic benefits that we have outlined in our other videos will be realized, not just in Pennsylvania, but across America.